morning all and today I'm going to be looking at this it's a DC to DC converter a buck regulator and it is the Ming He model B 3008 now 3008 means that the maximum output voltage is 30 volts and the maximum output current is 8 amps and uh, this is one of a family of DC to DC converters made by Ming He. Now they're all digitally controlled DC to DC converters. They have a little numeric indicator and a set of push buttons. Uh, this little one is up to 36 volts, 3 amps. This, as I say, is 30 volts up to 8 amps. And this one is a boost converter, so this steps the voltage coming in up. It can put out up to 80 volts and also up to 10 amps. Now this isn't a review of this DC to DC converter, but what I want to do is show the way that this can be both a voltage regulator and a current regulator at the same time. And how does it achieve that? So now I'm going to plug in uh, the only supply of power that I have on my bench, which is 12 volts coming from some lead acid batteries outside. And the display comes on and at the moment it's showing three volts and the current regulation is set to 3 amps. Now I've just dimmed the lights a little bit so that the display is easier to read. Uh, 3.000 amps and 3.00 volts. Now there's no V or A indicator, so actually what I've done is I've written an A and a V on the display block, and when the dot is near the V, that shows volts, and when the dot is near the A, that's showing amps. So what exactly is this? Is it a three volt regulator? Or is it a three amp regulator? Or is it both? Now you're probably familiar with something like this. This is a three terminal uh, linear regulator, 7805. So if I put 12 volts into the input of this, I'd expect to get a completely stable five volts out. But this device works slightly differently Think of these numbers as upper limits. What I'm saying to this device is go as high as you can, but never take the voltage over three volts and never take the current over three amps. So let's see how this works in practice. Now I'm gonna take a wire out of this, one strand of wire out of this bit of red uh, connection wire. So it's quite thin and I'm also going to coil it around this screwdriver so let's do that. Okay, that should do. So here's the little coil of wire. I've attached it across the output terminals of the DC to DC converter. Now this is just a piece of copper wire. It's going to have a very low resistance, a fraction of an ohm. So let's switch on the output, three volts, three amps, and see what happens. Well, not a great deal, but now let's monitor what voltage and current we've got on the output. Well, we've got three amps because I set the device to not go over three amps, but we've only got 0.74 volts, 0.75 volts. So what this device is telling me is, I can't give you the three volts that you asked for, because if I did that into this very low resistance, you'd have a huge current. You also asked me to limit the current to three amps. So that's what I've done. I've limited it to three amps. The yellow light has come on, which says CC, that's constant current. It's in current limit. And the voltage is way below the three volts that we set. Now let's work out the resistance of this little coil of wire. I'm not gonna to touch it because it's probably hot. Uh, R equals V over I, so at the moment we've got 0.7 volts, 0.7 divided by I, which is 3, of course, 3 amps. The resistance is, if my calculator had any light coming through the solar panel, 0.2333 ohms. So this is a very low resistance load, about quarter of an ohm, which explains why we're getting a high current at a very low voltage we have a low resistance. Now, just for fun, let's take the current up from three amps to about four amps. And the piece of wire is now glowing red. Let's go up to five amps. 
and it's actually burnt out. Let me just get the light on that. So you can see that the uh, little coil of wire has burnt through and, uh, and so now of course the load on the output of this DC to DC converter is, well, it doesn't have a resistance, it's infinity ohms. So what I mean of course is that it has an infinite resistance and it has zero conductance. So what does that mean for our settings of 3 volts and 3 amps? What will happen now if I switch on the output? Well, let's find out. So what we're monitoring here is volts, and we have the full 3 volts, and the green light has come on, and that's CV, constant voltage. So it's now in voltage regulation. How many amps do we have? Well, zero, of course, because the piece of wire is burned out. There's nothing linking the two output terminals. It's an infinitely high resistance. No electricity is flowing, no current is flowing, zero current. So it's now in full voltage regulation. Three volts, zero amps. Now a piece of wire directly across the output and then a piece of burnt out wire, so nothing directly across the output, represent the extremes of voltage and current relationship. One was all volts and no current, the other one was all current and no voltage. So now, what about something part way between? What about a 1 ohm resistor? Now the nice thing about a 1 ohm resistor, here it is, look, 1R, is that it makes the math nice and easy. So let's go with Ohm's law, V equals I, R. Now if R is 1, then V equals I. So the voltage and the current in a 1 ohm resistor, the voltage across it and the current flowing through it, are going to be the same number. Now I've set this for 3 volts and 3 amps. So which of those two is this going to regulate on? Volts or amps? They're both going to hit 3. Now actually I've got to be a little bit careful here because this is a 10 watt resistor. Now power equals volts times amps. So if I go 3 volts and 3 amps, I'm going to get power as 9 watts. And this 10 watt resistor is going to get very, very hot. So I'm going to go down to 2 volts and 2 amps, power will be 2 times 2, 4 watts, that's a much better number to put through a 10 watt resistor. So here's my 1 ohm resistor across the output terminals of the regulator, 1 ohm at 10 watts. Uh, here's my 2 volts voltage limit, and here's my 2 amps current limit. So which light will come on, yellow or green, or maybe even both? Let's try it. Well, we have a green light, which means that it's voltage regulating. Here's the voltage, 2 volts. What's the current? 1.956 amps. So it's nearly 2 amps, but it didn't quite make it to 2 amps because it hit 2 volts first. Now, what does this mean? Well, we had the green light on where we had the open circuit, the very high resistance. So what I'm guessing is that this 1 ohm resistor is actually slightly above 1 ohm, it's slightly inaccurate, and we're voltage regulating as a result. Now I'm glad I set this to 4 watts because that 10 watt resistor is getting very, very hot. I can barely touch it. So let's switch that off. So now if I want this to go from voltage regulation to current regulation, I could slightly reduce the current limit that I've set to see if I can get these lamps to switch over. Let's try it. Let's reduce it from, now this is the measured current. If I press the button, it will show me my required current limit. So that's 1999. So let's bring this down, 1990. That's 196. So let's come down a bit further. That's too far, possibly. No, it hasn't. Oh yes, it has switched over now. Let's take that current limit up. And you can see that by sort of tweaking the current in small steps, I can get to a point where it's not quite sure whether it wants to current limit or voltage limit. And in fact, it's at a point now where it's flicking between the two, probably because of minor inaccuracies in the measurement system within this regulator. So there we are, we've hit the point in a one ohm resistor where the current limit and the voltage limit are so close that it can't quite decide. 
So there it is, that's how the voltage limit and the current limit circuits work within one of these DC to DC uh, converters, digitally controlled DC to DC converters. Now if you'd like to get hold of the Minghe B3008, there is one seller selling it on eBay at the moment, but it is quite expensive. Now actually on ebay.com there are a few of these. Uh, the cheapest ones I could find are this one at $33.88 from China and this one at $33.49. I will put links to these in the description. And uh, if you want the little uh, B3603 which has up to 36 volts out 3 amps then the best ones I can find are $14.80 free shipping. Oh well that one's a lot cheaper than this one down here. Uh, but actually on banggood.com this one is only $12.29 free shipping. Now of course a bench power supply uh, which has both voltage regulation and current regulation would work in pretty much the same way. But I quite like using these DC to DC converters because of the way that my power supply system works on my bench. I just have this 12 volt incoming power supply from my solar power system. I don't really like using the mains, I'd far rather use energy from the sun.